Good evening, my friends. Good evening, and welcome back to another episode of Quern. This week, we've got a lid to something, right? It's got a big old ring at the top and a flat bottom. And judging by the shape of the bevel, it looks like a lid for something. No idea what. Um, and I was thinking about this, and I'm not sure why this solution has thrown me to a loop. Because I was genuinely thinking the, uh, the fourth pizza slice to unlock the key from that box was going to be in that cupboard that we opened up. Okay, that's weird that it stepped us back here because presumably, okay, we... Oh, shoot! <laughs> this isn't abduction, right? We're not auto-saving, we have to save this manually. Um, okay, well, we didn't, uh, we haven't actually lost anything because we've still got the thing that we've opened up here. Interesting that this has returned to its starting position. I don't think that's going to affect anything because we've got the result of that puzzle out. But yeah, let's have a look at this, right? It's a big old steel or iron rectangle with a ring at the top. So it's either going to hook onto something or it's going to be placed on something. The, the bevel down these edges, yeah? That very much looks like it's the lid to something, doesn't it? So we're looking for some... And the fact that this iron is corroded and rusty... But on the bottom, despite the fact it sort of looks a bit like a solid piece, um, is not. Right? So it looks like it's been in position for a long time. So it's got to be the top of something. And we've got to find out what it's the top of. Now we tried this hook here. Oh! We totally tried that last episode, but okay. Bonk, go and collect whatever it is that you're going to collect. Well, I'm glad I tried that a second time. Bloody hell. That would literally have been... Forever. That would have literally taken me forever if I hadn't just happened to try that. So it's a magnet. It's a magnet. Um, so it, it, yeah, so it, it doesn't, it doesn't even, it's not even the top of something. It's just a magnet. Which is weird, because why isn't it, why wasn't it, like, stuck to the side of the, I don't know. Hey. This is the thing that we've uh, got, then. This is the thing that we've got. Do you know what? I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I don't like that. I, I don't like that. I, I think that might be, so far in this game, my least favourite puzzle, actually, because... It hasn't really given you anything, right? The, the, the pizza slice could have been in the box instead, rather than the magnet. And... It didn't even look like a magnet. It didn't even look like a magnet. Okay, it had a loop, so there's a certain suggestion that, well, maybe use the hook. Uh, which is why we tried it, to be fair. Hey, hey, hey. Time for a key. We are presumably now going to get ourselves into this tower over here. Right. Four directions. Four different directions and the top points that way so we're looking for x's 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 uh wait ah so 
something like that. effect of the orange lamps through the haze, you know, as, as it scatters through the mist. Okay, we've got one big button. <laughs> We've got one, no, two switches. Okay. <laughs> well. I mean, this is all guardrailed, so that's fine. We can't, we can't fall off. screen what this is the first loading screen we've had pretty sure Ooh. so yeah like the skull right not not super duper fan of the skull. The fact that both of the lights start at the bottom. Start one of the lights in a different position. Because then, as soon as you touch the skull... Because where we got stuck is... Well, there we go. We're now stuck down here. So where we got stuck with the skull is we're pulling the lever and the lever wouldn't move. Because the lights were already at the bottom. Start with the lights in the middle. Because then, whichever way you pull the lever, the lights will move one way or the other and it will give you an indication that the lever is bi-directional. The other one I found that's very weird is the, the berries in the little cupboard. We open the cupboard, but it's not those berries that let you see through the red paint. It's one of the other berries that you didn't unlock in the cupboard. And the third one being the magnet. I think those three puzzles, I think, are a touch questionable. But then again, those just happen to be the ones that I got a little bit stuck on. And of course, it's incredibly... <laughs> it's incredibly arrogant to sort of say, well, the puzzles that I got stuck on are the ones that are unreasonably designed, you know? <laughs> so I wouldn't necessarily go that far without collecting more data, but um, they feel a bit weird. When we discover these tunnels, we hope to find some rest from the endless noon. We realized we needed a quiet place, hidden from the scorching sunlight, 
away from the rumbling ocean. A different place where we could at last find the long-awaited change of atmosphere. Where we find balance, not just among ourselves, but harmony within our own bodies and souls. These chambers were our refuges when we couldn't bear the weight of our existence. After staying for hundreds of years in the light, darkness preserved our sanity. I tried to keep this place secret from him, but I had to make a choice. When I saw him losing his mind, he reminded me of us. I felt pity for him. I decided to lead him down here to grant him some relief. Oh, what a mistake it was. Okay. Is that a didgeridoo in the background there? Okay, we've got a locked door here. We have a thing. We oh, it's given us our... Um, it's given us our... Right, we have lost quite a few of the items in our inventory, right? Because we don't have our scissors anymore, we don't have our spoon, we don't have our jug. We don't have the sconce handle. Right. So we can't put, we can't create a torch with the green or the, um red one okay we've got another cupboard here this looks like yeah we've got a letter most of these tunnels were carved out by the Dalmarians once after covering the island with my experiments I was fascinated by the gigantic space this place offered I am convinced that she has appeared to you by now I know her quite well. She will probably try to persuade you to turn against me. You have done that if yourself. She, she reflects her own past failures onto me. She fears that I will become the monster she once was. Be conscious when she's around. Her innocent purity is just a well-rehearsed disguise. To be fair, though, she's not the one who literally admits to doing a kidnapping so of the two of you oh wow that's a giant key what else have we got here we've got a set of numbers we've got a letter here one of the key parts is among the components of the solution one of the key parts is in its appropriate place Oh, I see. We're playing. Uh, we're playing Mastermind there. Oof. Right. So, white means one of the key parts is in its appropriate place. One of the key parts is among the components of the solution. Okay, 
So, one, two, four, and six, three of those numbers are correct. So let's try one, two, three, and four. No, only two. Wait, only two are correct? One, two, four, and six have three of them. One, two, five, and six? Oh, man. <laughs> well, as Dark Flow knows, I am pretty sucky at Mastermind, so... Okay, we've got all oranges there, so one, two, five, and six. Looks like we're sort of correct. Let's do... One, two, five, and six. We'll rotate them all through. Okay, one of them's in the correct spot. So let's try... No, uh... Five, six, and two. So the one was not the one that was in the correct place. So let's try the two being in the correct place. No, it wasn't the two that was in the correct place. One, two. So let's try the five having been in the correct place. So... No, wait, we want that to be like 2, 1, 6, something like that. Wait a minute, now one of them's not on at all. What? 1, 2, 5, and 6. One of the key parts is among the components of the solution. One of the key parts is in its appropriate place. Dear, maybe I haven't understood what that clue means. So, what did I say? One, two, so maybe the five is in the correct place. Let's try then. One, two, five, and six that way. Okay, two of them are now in the correct place. Right. So I think maybe the five and the six are in the correct place. So let's try rotating the one and the two. No. So, what was it? It was one and five. And then I said two and six. Let's try rotating those two around. Otherwise, it's going to be the five and the two that were correct, I suppose. This is not going well. So let's try the five and the two there. And we'll do like one and six. Two correct. What does this mean up here? We've got different amounts of dots as well up the top. So I think maybe the two and the five are correct. I mean, if we do three and four. That give us no. Okay, two of them are correct, but okay. We'll make two and five. No, let's try them that way. One and four. No. Wait, this is now off entirely. What? Two and 
two and five. What if we do it that way? Okay, right. I've I've clearly like misunderstood something here. Let's have a look at what you get here when you do two and five. So this five here gives you uh, Yeah, so these pieces are corresponding, right? Four is always a T. For example. Okay, right. So five and two. That was looking pretty okay. the key parts is among the components of the solution. One of the key parts is in its appropriate place. So we were doing like 5 and 2 and 1 and 6. Unless we have to answer a series of them, and we did get one correct, but didn't even realise. Because now it's like... The no now it's like the numbers themselves are different, isn't it? Okay, now we've got two in the right spot. One, two, four, and five. Let's try like one, two, three, four. No, that's only two. So before we did one, two, four, and five, there are two correct. And before one, two, no, 1, 2, 4 and 5 were 3 correct, 1, 2, 3 and 4, so it must be like 4, 5 and 6 and 1, 1, 4, 5, 6, uh, or maybe not the 1, 2, 4, 5 and 6, man I suck at this so much, okay now we've got all four of them going, wait, they've stopped again, Oh, are these... Oh, 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 right, okay. These lights are number of attempts at guesses, and then it's changing. You have a number of attempts to guess, and then it's going to turn itself off. That's what the dots are. <sighs> right. So I've actually got to be, like methodical about this. Oh man, but I suck at Mastermind so much. Literally, check out the final episode of Taiji, right, where I gave up trying to solve the graveyard puzzle, so I ended up one puzzle short in that game, and Dark Flow, shout out to Dark Flow, um, literally just gave me exactly this kind of... Um, mastermind style problem of oh I'll tell you how many you've got correct and and it took like 45 minutes I don't know 
there, there, there must be a strategy for Mastermind, right? It strikes me as being one of those games where there must be a strategy to it. I've just never sat down and really tried to puzzle it out. Or look it up, because it's a common enough puzzle game that, like, I'm sure the optimal strategy must have been discussed. Like, surely, yeah. Okay, we're going to need... We're going to get our notebook out for this one, because if we've only got seven guesses, we're going to have to take notes. And we're going to have to think methodically about it, yeah? So... Let's not mess around. Let's go with one, two, three, four as an answer. Right? Right, it counts you down, it counts you down. Right. So. I'll do three O for three orange. And you know what? I actually kind of need to give it a, a, a little bit of a... I do need to do the, um, the positioning as well. So let's... Um, So if we've got three orange out of that, none of them are in the right spot. So if we do something like that, it'll probably still be three, won't it? So we know that one of five and six has to be correct. So if we still get three orange here, that means that either five or six is correct. Okay, let's let's try this. Okay. Where's my key? Give me my key back. I didn't realise it was changing the code each time. Right, that's still three orange. Right. Okay. So what does that mean? It means that either six is in and uh, four and five are not correct, or it means that five is in and one of one, two, or three is out. So it means four is in as well. And it's more likely to be the second option. So four and five, more likely to be in. So let's do like one, two, four, five next, yeah? And we'll put one here. We'll put two here, and we'll do four and five. Yeah, because none of those positions have been used so far. Okay, we're going to take a pick of that one. Okay, oh, no, oh, I moved it, I moved it. One, two, four, five. Okay, now we've only got two correct. Right, so that's kind of good, right? So we've got one white, one orange. So that means four and five are out. So the numbers are one, two, three, and six, 
Okay, that's for sure. One of these is white. So it can only be one or two that's white right now. We know that three can't be either of those. So let's put three in one of those two. We'll put six. Uh, now let's put six over here. And we'll put one in the same spot and two in a different spot. Okay. Take that. Ah. Okay, they're all correct, and we've got two white. Correct, and we've got two white. Two orange, so they're all correct. One, two, three, six. Two of these are white. Well, if two of them are white, that means you just need to swap two of them, right? Because if it's three of them that are correct but in the wrong positions, you have to rotate them round because swapping two of them is not going to affect the position of the third one. So if you've got two white, you will solve the puzzle by swapping the correct two from, from this position. So let's try swapping two and three. Something that requires a cog. Doesn't appear to be a piece that I currently have. But okay. So, what do those numbers mean then? Well, I know none of them are the number five. <laughs> so if we just have a look at this, it's kind of unclear which direction it's coming from, but uh, okay, so it's not four and it's not five. That's number three is the one at the end. Get rid of that, please. Try it next time, thanks. Um, okay, so number three at the end. Number two in the number two position. That's number one, and this one... Uh, I don't know, try number six. Yes. 
Yeah, that's correct, right? Oh, and it does have to be that way around, because if you look on the thing, number six here, this points in that direction towards the other pieces. If you were to try, and rather than it being um, six, two, one, three, Yeah, interesting. If rather than it being 6213, it was 3126, what you'd end up with is um, number 6 would be over here and it would be pointing towards the. Um, pointing towards somewhere else. Um, okay. So now we have a. what can go in there, that can go in there. Oh, and now the key can go in there. Great. So, what have we got in here? Ah, very interesting. Okay, we've got a maze there. Yes, we check everything with our blue torch, of course. The blue torch of knowing. We haven't actually looked around, uh, around here at all anyway, right? But okay, looks like we have ourselves a little puzzle here. Very unclear. Oh, okay, we've got a light. One of those goes to the bottom. Oh, that will fit into the, um, what's it called? Not a Lazy Susan, a uh, Dumbwaiter. Yep, and then with this, we can open that up. And what are we, <laughs> what, what is this? Oh, okay, 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 that's a connector for the thing. Yeah, that's all coming together, that's all coming together, okay. Let's open 
pop that in there, and then... Cable car. Ooh. Alright. New path opens up. Ominous lift. Let's take it. Further down. Okay. I was somewhat expecting that to go up. Oh, hey. It's the it's the place from literally the picture on the Steam Store page. I was wondering when we were going to get to that. The Underground Square. Well, no map in this area, of course. Well, okay. Well, a new path opens up for us, but I'm afraid, my friends, that is all we have time for, for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'm excited to see what's further down this path. Quan, it's, it's a good game. I'm really loving the game. Like, some of the puzzles are a little stickier than others. But uh, the atmosphere, the music, it's absolutely brilliant. And sometimes you get to leave an episode on a brilliant cliffhanger where you don't know what the next puzzle is going to be. And that's quite an exciting place for us to leave it today, I think. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment. I love reading all of your comments every week. So thank you very much, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.